<laughs> I'm not quite sure what that means, Elias. <laughs> well, because we're live, that's why. Live. So Elias says to me, do I need my ear thingy? And I'm like, I don't know. Do you need your ear thingy? I have my ear thingies on. Oh, you do? Okay, then I'm going to put no. my No, these oh, are my thingies. <laughs> This is, uh, wait, can you see them? I can't That's decide true. which ear is which. Here, this ear. This is, um, aren't these gorgeous? They're beautiful. Yeah. They are beautiful. Here, I'm going to get closer. I'm going to get closer. Oh, aren't they, they gorgeous? They're, They're beautiful. so beautiful. I love them. And they are made and designed special. Special for me. Actually, they weren't special for me. Tara Jack, the amazing Tara Jack. She's going to be at Celebrate Your Life in Scottsdale. I love her jewelry. She is. I love her. That Aren't they beautiful, beautiful, Lisa? Look at people are here. Aren't they beautiful? I yeah. just, I love, because it goes with everything. Well, you know, I'm talking jewelry to Elias. <laughs> okay, you can talk jewelry. <laughs> But you said ear thingies. When ear somebody thingies. says ear thingies, I think earrings. And I wore, wore my special tarot checks. I just love these earrings so much. You can't see how gorgeous these stones are, but they're beautiful. I know, Tara Jack. Tara Jack, Tara Jack. Okay, let's see who's here. Hi. Hi, everybody. Welcome, 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 welcome. Oh, look at all my... Sarah, uh, Sarah Autumn from the UK. She's on. Cheryl. Amber, Nita, Janice, Lisa, Mary. Okay, you go now. Okay. Uh, Lana and Lisa and Rachel and Karen and Rhonda. And Astrid. Hi, Astrid. Good to see you. Cherry Dworkin Smith. Cherry. Hello, my friend. Michelle. Michelle. Cheryl, Nita, and Delora. 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 I just met a girl named Delora. Oh, I so I, you know what? I think you're a frustrated like actor, singer, vocalist. Like we should do musical comedy together. Sure. That's what we need to do. We need to write a spiritual musical comedy. <laughs> we can do this. Yes. Did you align your chakras? Yes, I aligned my chakras. Ha 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 ha. And ground. Yeah, that would be good. Yes, That'd we could good. do this. We could. Yes, because I used to be in musical comedy and theater. Okay, so who else do we have? Delora, I hope you booked your, your Scottsdale event ticket because I know you were on the fence. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. You've got to do it. Woo! Do it. Okay. Well, Liz, when I, was, when I first came to Celebrate Your Life, the very first time, um, I came with my friend Cammy. And because we love the name Skamania, we made up songs about Skamania. And then we're like, celebrate, celebrate, celebrate your life. Woo! I mean, we were just on the plane, um, in the car. It was so nuts. Were so nuts. Skamania. Honest, honestly, Skamania. Like, Skamania. Skamania. I love it. I love it. Uh, Oh, that's that's from some musical. Okay, wait a second. We have to finish saying hello to everybody. Go so on. where were we? We were at, we said Shari, we said Cheryl and Nita and Delora. Then we left off at Delora. And of course, right. there's Sarah. Now you go. Sarah from the UK, Amber and Linda and Mandy and Joy to the world. And Lupe, hola, como esta? Uh, hola, Kim como esta? and Ashley, hello. Nikki. Holler back. She ain't no holler back, girl. She ain't no holler back. Woo. Okay. You okay. guys. Where were you? I got so excited. Um, I was dancing. Dana Crochier. Where are you? Dana. Dana. Oh, I have to tell you something. Yes. I need to talk to Dana and her partner. They did a movie. They're well, the movie yes. girls. Yes. I had them on my live. Man, sorry. Women. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. We need to, we need to talk we need I need to talk to you about the movie. <laughs> they made this movie, you guys. It's very cool and it's very cool. It's very cool about I want to kind of make a movie. <laughs> <laughs> guys, this is what it's like when you are 
with Liz. I mean, it is, it's uplifting, it's heartwarming, it's ridiculous. Kindness, and it's, it's, oh, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, but it's only with you. Like we, it, well, I know that's not true. Kira, like a lot of people yep. when I do this. And Colette, oh my God, Colette. And I, yeah. Okay, so then we've got Jody and Karen and Mandy and Mary and Chris and Kim and Michelle, Eva and Mary and Charlene and Delora again. Elias the musical. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, and Rachel. Rachel, if you want to come to Scottsdale, do it. So one of my favorite quotes ever, this was by Alejandria. Oh, Tina, Tina, Tina. Oh, Emmy Scammerhorn. I love oh, Emmy. Name. I love that name. Make a movie of the wedding. Good idea. Diana and Brandy and Lisa, everybody's here. So Everybody. it's really wonderful to have you all here joining us. And, and we're so excited to have the party. I can't help but look at the comments. I'm trying not to look at the comments. It's I'm just okay. looking at you, but I can't help it. Karen Lipschitz. Karen Lipschitz, I love that last name because I went to camp with the Lipschitz, Lipschitzes. There One was, of my teachers in Chicago, Susan Lipschitz. Susan Lipschitz. It's not, I wonder, Karen, if you know the Lipschitz from New Rochelle or Scarsdale in New York. That's Johnny and Andy and everybody. I can't think. The Lipschitzes. It's a very, it's a very specific name. Kathy Small says, I can stay at her house and everything. Won't you try Liz Dondano? Yes, don't try. Do not try. Just do. No. <laughs> do do. Amber <laughs> says the comments distract Elias too. I'm like, yes, they totally do. They totally do. I want to thank all the friends from TikTok that have crossed over to Facebook. Thank you so much. Thank Ooh, you. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. That's a very... That's a very like inflammatory statement there for those of you who have crossed over to oh, Facebook definitely. from Cross our TikTok over. people who have crossed over to Facebook. <laughs> Do not tell your friends at TikTok <laughs> that you are being seen on the Facebook platform. <laughs> crossed over, Jody, she got it. Crossed over, there's so many things we could get from that. Crossed over? That could be the musical. Crossed over the musical. Now you're scaring me. <laughs> Sorry, Lana. <laughs> what are we talking about? I have no idea, Diane. Yes. Do I need to be there? Yes. yes. Okay. Can we talk about it first and then? Yeah, we can. Um, Cheryl wants to know, has Liz met Aphrodite yet? <laughs> Aphrodite, the Grecian oracle reader. Have I met Aphrodite? The, the one that I did on TikTok, Aphrodite. Grecian. Oh, I have met Aphrodite. She is quite the handful. Yeah. And I actually, I really want Aphrodite to make an appearance on Facebook. Okay. Can Aphrodite make an appearance? Would Aphrodite like to come on Facebook live with me? Oh, that would be great. I'll go call oh, her. That would be way fun. That would be way fun on a so fun hard. Friday. <laughs> stalk you on TikTok, Facebook, and now Clubhouse Elias. <gasps> you have a stalker. I have many stalkers. We're talking about how to talk to ourselves and how to have a better relationship with yes. ourselves. And no better person than Liz Dawn to do this with. I mean, your talks about relationship, Liz, have been so moving. I mean, I believe truly I have found the one because of you and because of your encouragement and of you saying, hey, do you get the, you know, did you always get the butterflies? I'm like, always. And, you know, with John, I didn't. It was like, oh, he's a nice person. Oh, he's a really nice John, person. John, your fiance. My fiance, yes. Because sometimes when you say John. Yes. You think, I'm thinking of talking John, John, my John. Yes, not your John, my John. Got it. John, my fiance. Yeah. I think he talks about John Holland when he says John, but he's John, not. John, my fiance. Aphrodite yes. is quite popular. Rachel's. But can we, can I say something before we go there? Sure. All right. I just want to say something before we go there. I'm going to do a plug for our upcoming event and I'm doing this just, there it is brazenly. I'm doing a plug for the event. So someone said that she has a house in somewhere in Scottsdale. Should she come here? Yes. Diana. So here's what's happening. 
we are getting back to doing our conferences. We've done a couple of small intimate retreats, which are, you know, these past few years of that thing that shall not be named was happening. We couldn't really do our live events. For those of you who don't know us, we've been doing something called Celebrate Your Life events for 27 years. Celebrate Your Life events brings together all of these amazing spiritual luminaries, teachers, um, all together. Shameless plug, exactly, Amber. Um, all together in one amazing weekend event. We've been doing this since, well, I've been running Mishka Productions. Mishka Productions since 1995, also known as Celebrate Your Life events. Here's Mishka. Oh, beautiful. So that was Mishka. Okay, so anyway, um, life-changing conference. How would you know, Rachel? You haven't been here yet. You gotta come. Okay, so we're doing, we're finally getting back to our regular conferences. It's a, it's a much better price than the all-inclusive retreats. It's a much more reasonable price for those of you that are looking at that aspect of your life, you know, finances. It is, we've got three different tiers. You can come, you will see Gabby Bernstein live and in person. You all know who Gabby Bernstein is, New York Times bestselling author, eight times, eight times New York Times bestselling author. She's been on Oprah. Oprah loves her. She's going to be there in person. Elias is coming to hang out with us. Yay! And we've also got Neil Donald Walsh. We've just got a whole bunch of people. Go to the website. Sign up. Do not think about it because if you start thinking about it and get into your, you can just play a mind fuck with yourself. I can't do it. 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 Just do it. Um, we'll always, we put you into private Facebook group so you can meet other attendees before you arrive. If you're coming alone, you will never be alone. And you can always find a roommate if you want to split expenses. That's a super easy thing to do. And I just want to tell you something right now is the sweet spot for booking your airline tickets. I have been booking everybody's airline tickets and I looked a week ago and they were so high. And then I looked today and it was like, whoa, this is it. Always bought, book on a Tuesday or a Wednesday, guys. Much less expensive. Actually, it was a little ex less expensive on Tuesday and Wednesday mm -hmm. than it was like than it will be tomorrow. Anyway, so there you have it. Go to celebrateyourlife.com forward slash Scottsdale 22. I'm so excited. And guys, so honestly. Stop talking at any time if you want. You say, lose Dawn, stop talking. It is truly truly life-changing when i went to the one in washington state here guys this is why i moved here not only because of the place but liz dunn and she's a foodie she whoops this way she's a foodie she is a foodie and the food is phenomenal the food is phenomenal the people are phenomenal liz is like the hostess of your of the mostest i mean she really it's a soul tribe everybody I made so many connections at that first place, CYL, Skamania, oh, and I was, loved it. Was, it was Sedona you came to first. No, you came to Skamania first. Skamania. So this is going to be in Scottsdale. Oh, Linda Ferrara wants us to come to Philadelphia. Can I tell you something? The round trip tickets from Philly right now are inexpensive because I just booked Danielle, who's my event assistant, to come to Phoenix and it's at a good price right now. They've got a, American Airlines has a round trip nonstop for a really good price, Linda. But Philadelphia, I have to put Linda's name down. Do you know Linda Ferreira? I know Linda Ferreira. Ferreira. Because you know what? Philadelphia might be interesting. But only if you promise. I need more than 50 people. Do I ever do events in, in Canada? You know, I haven't, um, I haven't, I haven't figured out how to do that yet, but maybe mm. we need to, maybe we need to figure that out. What do you think, Elias? I think so. Should we do yeah, Canada? I, yeah, there's a big, there's, I can't tell you how many Canadians I get on Facebook and on TikTok. They're like, would you come here? And I'm like, okay. you know, why not? Why All not? Right. South Carolina, she wants me to come. I will work really hard getting more people. Yay, I asked her. Yay, Canada. Juliana's here. Juliana's coming to the Scottsdale event, you guys. Oh, cool. She's coming to Canada. 
Yay! So you got to be there. You got to come because you can't keep saying, you know, when am I going to do this? You have, if not now, when people, if not now, when, okay. Can I tell you a really kind of a, I'm going to tell you one story and then we're going to move on and talk about what we're supposed to talk about today. So don't leave yet. Cause we're going to talk about like some really cool stuff. Um, got a phone call. It might make me cry. Got a phone call in the office yesterday and you know, Tanya picks up the phone, Mishka Productions, celebrate your life. Right. This is Tanya. And she happens to be sitting at my desk because the two of us, she brings her stuff in here and we work together in, into my office. And she all of a sudden, she says, I'd have no idea the answer to that question. Let me find out. She puts her hand over the receiver. She puts it on hold. And she said, Liz, this woman on the other line has been to celebrate your life many times. And she told me her name and I know who she is. She's been to CYL many times. And she said to me, she wants to know if she passes away before the date, would we refund her money? And I said, give me the phone. Let me speak to this woman. And I know her, I'm going to call her Susie. Let me speak to Susie. I said, Susie, this is Liz. What, what is, what's, what's, what's happening here? And she was telling me that she's got stage four metastatic cancer that um, they've given her four to eight months and that will be, that'll be the end of her four months is October. And, but she really wants to have one last hurrah before she transitions. Mm -hmm. And she really wants to come to celebrate your life before she transitioned into spirit. And I said, you, that that is I don't know if anybody can hear hear me because I'm my voice kind of went away, um, and I and I went Linda I went to that kind of sad place and she's like no I I really want to be at celebrate your life but I just need to know if I don't make it until then will you refund my husband and I said yes she goes he'll provide a death certificate and I'm like oh my God Susie. <laughs> I hear you. I mean, I know this woman. She's she's been with us before, so mm -hmm. wow. do not wait. Do not wait. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what else to say. It's never going to be there. It's like having. It's you know what they say about having children. It's never going to be the right time, right? Yeah. It's never. It's you're always going to have. Um, yeah, Ta Tommy. I don't know. It's sad that she. Yes, she's transitioning. And she seems so clear and courageous about it. And so like, this is what's happening. And I want to make sure I'm with my soul tribe. I want to make sure I'm there. I want to make sure I'm present. Yeah. So. Oh, yes, Diana. We're going to make sure she's taken care of. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Do not wait. Yes. Oh, look who's here. It's our little here, huh? beam of lightness of Kiranus, Kiranus. All right, Elias, it's your turn. I've talked enough. You're good. You're good. So as I was saying, you guys, you know, Liz brings this. And this is, hold on a second. This wasn't meant to be a sad story. <laughs> this was meant to be this uplifting, you know, that, make, you know, that she wants to be present at this gathering, that she wants to be with her people. Okay. Rachel just said she's doing it, Liz. Now Come. my credit card is yelling at me. Come. I love it. And guess what? Come. You're going to be screaming with excitement. You're going to shift, Rachel, just being there. Just being there, absorbing all that. Look, everybody, when you go, you are finding people that resonate at your vibe and higher. And when they resonate at that vibe, you all go this way. And... Yeah. You learn, I've learned. I mean, even though I teach, I am going to learn even more. It's really, really important. You are an investment in you. Yeah. And what happens, then you are able to bring that back, share it with others and make a shift in their life too. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so what are we supposed to be talking about right now? We're, um, oh, Ginger. Hi, Ginger Pair of Healing Heart. Ginger. Ginger. There's Ginger. 
And Diane says, oh my God, Diana, you're coming? I will be there. Oh, Vincy, we got to figure it out for you. Yes, continuing. It's like a dream. You're really going to do it. Yay. And get the bronze. If finances are an issue, get the bronze ticket. Really, it's totally fine. And Vincy, you can go back and listen to the story later if you want to, but you don't have to. It's a little sad. <laughs> um, I, and I, I will get it. I'm going to say this one more time. And Liz always says, you know, you've done it. Let me tell you guys, Liz changed my life. She literally changed my changed life. life. She changed my life. She gave me a platform and saw something within and brought it out and truly brought it out. I am forever grateful. And when you're with Liz, it's like being with family. I can't, I can't tell you enough that these events change. They shift, they move, they give you ahas, and then you keep on soaring. You keep on soaring. And... <laughs> I love it. I Joni love it. is there. Hi, Joni. Okay. So, so what are we talking about? about today? We're supposed to talk about something. Communication. Okay. How do we talk to ourselves and how do we have a better relationship with self? How do we talk better to ourselves and have a better relationship with ourselves? Right. I want to, I want to, um, okay. Where, you know what, where are we right now on Facebook? We're on, we're on CYL online soul fest, right? Somebody's texting me. Tara's texting me. <laughs> so I, I want to read something that, um, okay, I want to read something to you that my friend Ro actually wrote to me. Um, I'm broadcasting everywhere. Everywhere on Facebook and the live stage. Okay, text Tara. Let her know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Tara wants to know where we are. Um. She texted something to me that and Gretchen that was so beautiful because I had a little bit of a splat last week and I was like, I, 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 I. so I, I've been talking to my peeps about it and, and having these great conversations. Um, so, so here's something really beautiful. I often ask myself what I'm learning from any challenge. Once I acknowledge the lesson, the energy dissipates never to return unless there are new layers. Our vibrational frequency becomes the magnet, all right, this is important, for the energy we attract back to ourselves. I remind myself to come back to neutral even when I get triggered by something or someone. All right, so when we start to really go onto a path of really loving ourselves and telling us ourselves things that are more nurturing, and more thoughtful and more kind and compassionate. It's easy to splat into the, the I'm going to, I'm just going to say it into the mind fuck games. Right. It's really, really easy to splat into that. I'm a champion. At, I'm a champion at it. I am a champion <laughs> at, at my head, not being able to turn off and not treating myself very well. Because when I'm doing that, when I grab on to a situation or something, that, that may or may not have happened in my life, and I, I assign it some type of meaning, right? That my relationship with myself starts to like, my true self, my true self starts to kind of like crumble a little bit. And this part of myself, this, this angry and upset and this negative thinking part comes in. And so, and I have to do this on a regular basis. Elias, I've been totally transparent with you, and I want to make sure that you all know this that those of us who are, you know, been doing this a long time, or those of us who um, are teachers, such as Elias is a teacher, and other teachers I know, still do have to practice this, of stepping back and reminding ourselves, what thoughts am I having that don't serve me? How is this thought serving my life? How is this thought not serving? And I said this to my husband this morning. I said, you know, the thoughts that I'm having are certainly not serving my physical, mental, spiritual, emotional well-being. It's not. They're not. And I know something shitty happened, but how far am I going to go down this rabbit hole? So I ask you that. Has, has, has this happened to any of you ever 
where you've gotten a hold of something and it keeps you up at night and you're like, just like that. <laughs> right? Have it, has that happened? Uh, Cheryl, yes, it does. CYL does make us randomly break out in song. So have any of you, has that happened to any of you? Yes, you can totally relate to that. Absolutely. And so what it takes, and it takes discipline. It takes discipline. As my, my friend and wonderful teacher, Ro Rusnick says, as Elias Patras says, it's practice. It's practicing those exercises over and over and over again. See, all of you can relate. <laughs> you go, of course, yes, definitely. Really. I'm so glad I'm not alone and being a little mishagana. <laughs> You're good. But You're it's good. practicing. It's yeah. practicing that over and over and over again. And what does that do, Elias? It strengthens your relationship to self. Right. Okay, here and, we go. And here's a great quote by Wayne Dyer. And I want, I, and I love, this is my second book. I have given this book out to many clients and stuff. So listen to this, everyone. Okay, but, but wait a second. Can I ask you something? Yes. Why did, why did you choose Wayne Dyer for today? Because I love him. Really? And Do you know what yesterday was? Yesterday was his um, anniversary of his anniversary of yes. transition. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Wayne was. Dyer passed away on August 30th. Along with? A long time ago. Yeah. And didn't Louise Hay also? I think it was, a, it was a day before, a day later, or something around that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, go um, ahead. Keep your thoughts on what you intend to create. Stay consistently matched up with the field of intention. And then watch for the clues that what you're summoning from the all creative source is arriving in your life. There are simply no accidents. Yeah. This Mike, is a great book. Mic drop. That's, that's beautiful. That was for me, wasn't it? It was. It was for me. Liz Don told me at the speaker program, do you have this book? And I said, I don't. She goes, here. Get it. Get it. Get it. I think it. it's because yeah. you remind me of Wayne Dyer. That's a huge compliment. Thank you. Very you, really, much. you do. You remind me of Wayne Dyer. Thank you. Thank so you. how do you get out of when something's happened and your head is like, you know, how do, what, what are your tricks? What do you do, Elias? So the first thing I do is I have to go through it. I have to go through it and go, okay. And then, you know, what I'm, what I'm talking about is, is this true? Is this really true? Okay. Thank you mistake for happening. Thank you for what this is because I'm learning something from it. Mm -hmm. Now, how do I improve that? How do I get better? What do I need to do? But I had to be stuck in the caca boat for that time. For that time, I had to say, yeah, it's the caca boat. And I'm like, okay, you know, and I know the caca boat really well. Yeah. It's comfortable. It's yeah. comfortable and it's familiar. Well, I think you did it. You know, I'm, can I share something personal? Yeah, please, of yeah. course. Okay, with you, about you. Yeah, please. I'm an open book. Go ahead. So you were in a relationship. You were in a marriage. Right. You were living in Chicago. You were living in Illinois. Right. And you were there for a long time. Hello, Bill Van Horn. Oh, my God. Bill Van Horn, I miss you. Mwah. Sending love to you. Um, so you were. You really were, like, entrenched. You were in this for, what, 15 years, 20 years? I was uh, I was in a relationship first for 12 years, and then I moved a little bit out of Chicago. That relationship was intense. That was a four year relationship, two years, to, four years total together, two years married. Okay, so this is like you're familiar with taking yourself out of and removing yourself and changing your thinking in order to move yourself physically out of a situation that lo no longer serves you. Right. right. How did you do that? How did you find the strength within yourself to do that? Because that is not easy. I mean, you were married. It's what they would want me to do. Uh, it's what my mom and dad would want. That's why they're always over my shoulder. I always think if mom and dad were still alive, what would they tell me? What would they say? Do I deserve this, number one? 
do I deserve it? Do I, is this benefiting me in some, in some way? And then owning what shit was mine, owning, you know, really looking and cleaning up my side of the street. And what I did in that relationship, I said, Hey, I don't fix clients. I don't fix retreat attendees, workshop people. I don't fix family, but I sure wanted to fix you. And in my head, I said, oh my God, you married him to fix him. Oh, wow. And what I got because of that was a narcissist. And I got to, and I had to clean up my side of the street and say, right. okay. And were you scared? And were you scared to make this? Because Linda says, so scared of change. Were you scared to make that change? Huge. I left, I left Illinois and drove 2,000 miles, not knowing, not knowing where I was going to go. And mid drive in a Toyota Prius with two dogs, mid drive, the person says, Hey, your townhouse that you're supposed to rent, um, it won't be ready for another four months. Um, can you get back to us? <gasps> not knowing anybody not knowing what to do and i was but my heart kept on saying you go and and i heard inside the one for you is not here wow you will meet the one when you go there and i usually i'm good like helping others but for myself but i had to trust me so moving out of any situation is, do I deserve it? Am I worthy of it? Am I limited or am I limitless? What oh. blocks us and what blocks us stops us? So here's here's my question because a lot of you are posting in here. Hello, Denise. Um, a lot of you are posting in here that you're looking in the mirror and saying, what the hell are you doing? Get out. And Linda's admiring you for that and love that strength. And it, it, but here's the deal is that each one of you have that strength as well. So if you're in a situation, if you have, whether it's, whether it's your mind that's keeping you um, prisoner, whether it's your body that's literally keeping you prisoner, it's getting up and having that chutzpah, having the strength to move out of it because you, you don't, and I get being afraid to change. I am so scared of change. I don't like change, right? <laughs> Unless it's good, right? That's our that's our caveat. Unless it's going to be really good. But having that strength, having that power to say, okay, what you just shared, Elias, is am I am I worthy enough? Am I good enough to be able to? Of course you are. We get one shot at this, people. You get one shot at this. And I will tell you, and and hold on, I need a tissue because I got a little reclaimed. <laughs> um, oh, Linda, mm -hmm. I understand that. I totally understand that. Um, Linda sharing that since her husband died six years ago, she's been super scared. I got to tell you, I'd probably feel the same way. Mm -hmm. And it's just jumping and doing it. It's just say, all right, I'm going to be shocked. It's going to be a little scary. A little story. My sister lost her husband, I want to say about seven years ago, and they were very, very much in love. And he absolutely adored her. And she's in her 60s. And she decided to put herself out there again. Totally scared to do it, Linda. And she met someone and she's been dating him now for about six months. A really, really nice gentleman. Really nice gentleman. And, you know, I'm again, this is not this is or isn't a plug for Celebrate Your Life coming up, but it certainly would give you the inspiration and give you the support and love for wherever you're desiring to go in your life. Being in that Celebrate Your Life bubble for those four days. And it was funny because at this last event, we were trying to figure out how do we explain this Celebrate Your Life bubble? Like, how do you explain that? Like, how do you put that into words? Like the Celebrate Your Life bubble is like, how do you do that, right? <laughs> So it, you know, it's yeah. like this, it's like, it is, it's like a bubble and it's like this bubble of love. It's this bubble of support. It's this bubble of giddiness. It's this, it's this bubble of sacred aha moments. Cause you're going from like workshop to workshop and it, it's, it's a bubble of, it's just this, this sacred bubble that you kind of step into and you get a respite from your life and we get to see things differently and have these like, eye-opening experiences. So 
Yeah. I, I would, I, again, and if, and if, here's the deal, if you go and you absolutely cannot stand it and think it's the worst thing you've ever done, come to me and I will talk to you and maybe I'll even refund your money. All right. Because I, I feel that confident in what I've been doing for 27 years. <laughs> this may sound silly, everybody, but picture this picture. You're just flat. You're just flat and just going through the time and when you come to a CYL event, it's like this, ready? Clear! And you just restart. It's yeah. a restart, it's a revamp. It's it's the energy that builds the energy every day from the moment one of amazing volunteers that Liz has that says, hi, welcome. It's that feeling. It is that, look at me, I'm like, Come on, let's go. It's let's that start. feeling, guys. It's that feeling, and it's beautiful. It I is love that. Just, it's, it's a woo woo woo. Oh, that's the cutest thing. Okay, Jody has been underemployed for almost eight years because I lost confidence. She has an interview this afternoon. Oh, prayers for you, Jody. Oh. Prayers for you. How are you going to walk into that interview, Jody? Strength, confidence tapped into your true self and tapped into your own self-worth. Elias, what is your best tool to, for tapping into your self-worth? Well, I'm going to say what I've been saying all the time is you have to, I mean, truly believe in yourself and know, you just have to know that if, if this isn't it, there's something better coming up. I always say to people, when you find a penny on the floor, say thank you first, because it's gratitude. It all starts from gratitude. And the second thing is after you, you find it, what else is possible? Yes. How can it get better than this? Yes. And each time we move forward, we get a little step up and we get a little step up and we get a little step up. If there was no change, everyone, there'd be no butterflies. Exactly. Exactly. And the next thing and the next thing. Yes, Bill, there are there are definitely rooms still left at uh, the resort. Yes, yes, yes. We have a room just for you. <laughs> okay, so what else are we supposed to talk about today? Because we're on a roll. We're on a roll. So what, what would you like us to talk about today? Any questions? Any questions? Now is your moment. You can ask us anything you want to. Anything. Vinci says believe. Yeah, it's believe. Tara, Tara, is Tara that's on that that I keep seeing Facebook user. Tara, is that you? Her name isn't popping up, but she just sent me a message. The bubble is a disconnect from the ego and an opportunity con to connect with your higher self. Yes. Tara, I don't know why you're coming up as Facebook user and your name isn't showing, but yes, 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 yes. Tara's here. Tara, I was just talking about here we go with the earrings again. I was just talking about you and my gorgeous earrings and how you're going to be at celebrate your life with all your gorgeous jewelry. Yes, yes, yes. Where and when? Okay, so people, so people are like coming in. Have I ever met Oprah? No, I haven't. Have you, Elias? Um, yes, I met her uh, back in the day in Chicago at Marshall Fields. And I also went a couple times in her audience, and she asked. Whoa, 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 whoa! You've been with her in person. In person, yes. Not. Yes, yes. It is a goal. It is a goal to talk to her, like actually talk to her. Oh my goddess! Oh, look who's here, Justin Roberge. Hi, Justin Roberge. You have met Oprah. Oh, bay! That is amazing. I would love. I would absolutely. Love that. No, I do not put marshmallows in my pot roast. Delora. Delora. They don't. Okay. So people are asking us about this. Okay. Yes. Well, let me talk about the event really quickly. So celebrate your life, Scottsdale. Just in case you haven't heard me talk about this 10,000 million times, we are back to our normal conference platforms. Our normal conference platforms are, they're less expensive than the retreats. There's more people. There's more speakers. It's kind of cool and exciting. <laughs> People come from all over the world to attend. It is going to be in Scottsdale, Arizona on October 28th through the 31st. This is the first time that we've done this event since 2019. 
2018 or 19, I think. 18 or 19. I can't remember. Anyway, it's been a few years since we have done this event. It features Gabby Bernstein, New York Times bestselling author, and she is one of Oprah's favorites. It features, I, I don't even know how many times he's been on the New York Times bestseller list, but Neil Donald Walsh, Conversations with God. It features Michael Beckwith, who is freaking off the charts, amazing. We've also got Emmanuel Dagger, who is an amazing healer. He just wait till you are in the presence of Emmanuel Dagger. Also got some new people. For the first time ever, Dougal Frazier. Dougal Frazier. I love Dougal Frazier. He is the 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 color guy, the color heal, healer, the color. He can look. He can, he, he talks about colors. He talks about what the best colors are to wear when. What colors are most empowering for you? What what colors deplete your energy? So he's going to be doing a whole workshop on that. Then we also have brand new, internationally renowned astrologist Molly McCord. I'm going to have on Facebook with me next week, by the way. She is fantastic. So Molly McCord is going to be there. First time ever at a Celebrate Your Life. Oh, my goodness. There's just so many people. <laughs> Lisa Williams. How could I forget Lisa Williams? Lisa Williams, spiritual medium Lisa Williams. Of course, Lisa is going to be there. So we're going to have such a jam party. It is going to be so freaking fantastic and over the top amazing. And I hope you come and join us. Right now, if you need to travel to get to us, right now is that sweet spot with the airline tickets. This is when they are at their, their lowest for this next week. They are at their lowest. I just booked Lisa Williams' ticket. I just booked our production staff to come in for it. <laughs> Go to our website, celebrateyourlife.com forward slash Scottsdale 22. Scottsdale 22. So I have to tell you which resort, Doubletree Paradise Valley Resort. It is in downtown Scottsdale. It's beautiful. The grounds are gorgeous. It's like vacation. And what's what's so terrible about being in Scottsdale in October? It's gorgeous here. And it's you're surrounded by the mountains. And oh my goodness, I talk a lot, Elias. And you're so patient. <laughs> you're good. You're good. I wanted to, I wanted to just really quickly, if I may. Um, we talked about this switch, right? mindset everybody here's my acronym for mindset you ready yes m mistake honor the mistakes that happen i improve and set in a new in, a new intention with the improvement n from my mom and dad whoops never give up never, never give up. up never give up here's the thing everyone that if you don't know mom was 46 had five miscarriages Dad was 56. They adopted me at 46 and 56. They were born 1909 and 1919. My mom said if ever they took no for an answer, I wouldn't be here. So never give up. D, determination. S, see yourself successful. See yourself successful. Uh, e is my favorite. A little elbow grease. You got to get that action in there. You got to push yourself a yeah. little bit deeper, a little bit deeper. And, you know, you could wipe the table like this, or you could really get that ring out. And then the last piece is treat yourself. T, treat yourself. Treat when yourself. was the last time you bought flowers for yourself? When was the time that you went to an inspiring, moving place that you could be with like-minded people and raise your vibe, raise your vibration? Truly, truly, when you say yes to yourself, the universe says yes back. I love that. What he said. What he said. There you go. Well, Kim Noble has a question. I'm going to show it. Yes. We said, anybody have any questions? I love this. Do you both think... Yes, Julie, vision boards are fantastic as long as you use them. And I'll, I can explain that in a second, too. Do you both think that what is going to save us as people is our awareness and daily gratitude and kindness, our healing ourselves and each other? You want to start? And then I, I'll go. You go first. Uh, Kim, we talked about this the other day, right? I agree 100%. If we just took for granted, we don't recognize those highs until we can say, okay, 
I'm breathing. I'm stepping out of bed today. I'm grateful for the air. I'm grateful for the people in my life. I am so grateful each day. And at the end of the day, what did you learn from that gratitude? And how did you show kindness? Did you show kindness to yourself first? And the Mapuche tribe of Chile have a beautiful saying, your healing is my healing. So I say yes and yes. Yeah. I would have to agree with Elias. And I do have to say this because this is part of my vision is, um, and it's over there, is my mission statement that my mom wrote, is that we are stewards to bring consciousness to the world. And the more that you, and whether, and again, not necessarily a plug for celebrate your life, but why the hell not? When you come together in groups, when you come together with teachings of like-minded people, what happens, whether it's celebrate your life or whether it's something that Elias is doing, it's, it, there is an energy that is created in our soul tribe community that expands that energy. The more we continue to walk our path, as my mother would say, walk your path with dancing feet and a song in your heart. That is her direct quote. The more we can do that. He's got the t-shirt on. Walk your path with dancing feet and a song. That's my mom, you guys. The more we do that, the more the energy gets bigger and bigger and expands and expands and expands, being conscious of what comes out of our mouths, being in kindness, being in gratitude. And if you do have trip ups, here's here's the other key that 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 no one else talks about that that people don't really talk about. There are trip ups. There are there are shit that happens in relationships. People do shitty things to each other. The key is the key is, is that how adept at you are you at how adept are you at sitting on the mat when these, when, when things trip you up, how adept at you are you? I can't even say it. How good are you at being able to sit on the mat or sit with another person who's hurt you or been angry or whatever it is? How would, how skilled are you at doing this? And this is also what changes when we start to take those relationships and we, when we start to heal them. I'm not talking about forgiveness. I'm not talking about, um, you know, I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole of forgiving abusers, those type of things. This is just about, you know, uchi things that happen in our life. What does your world look like in terms of, of, do you just throw people out the door or do you sit and say, Hey, this happened. Can we heal this? Can we talk about this? And our healing ourselves and each other. And that's, that is, that is what we talk about when we talk about community and coming together, I think. Agreed. Yeah, Agreed. I think. Okay. So, so, so let's see what else we got here. We got questions, create a vision board. Is that a good tool? You want to go first on that one? Um, we kind of said it, you can create it, but what are you doing with it? What are you doing with it? Are you looking at it and go, look at that pretty picture and, and just walk by Right. the action part has to be in it. The action part has to be in it. And that is part, that is a key piece of a manifestation e equation that I talked about in Sedona in 2019. Right. And it is part of you seeing yourself. You've had her on. Um, she actually interviewed me, Gina Hatzis. Oh, Gina Hatzis said a great story. She said, I went to have lunch with my girlfriend. And she's like, girl, what's up? And the friend says to Gina, girl, I met this great man. Oh, my God. He kisses me. And it's so juicy. It's so juicy. I love his lips and I love his face. He holds a door open for me. He pays for everything. His family loves me. His friends love me. Um, we go to a movie every week because he knows how much I love them. And at night, he puts a little chocolate on my pillow. 
he just is the best. And Gina's like, oh my God, do you have a picture of him? And she's like, no, I haven't met him yet. Ah, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> it's that action and that belief and what's that feeling and what's everything coming up for you in that moment, in that moment. What is it? And then you carry that moment to the next moment and the next moment and you build from it. You build, yes. you create and open up. That vision board is what is it? Is your vision board like this or is the vision board like this? Expansive. So I am in a year long class. Yes, I take classes. Yes, I study. <laughs> yes, I do that. <laughs> I am in a year long class with a dear friend of mine. She, uh, she's a feng shui teacher by the name of Ro Rusnick, Roseanne Rusnick. She teaches a year long program and we start the year with a vision board. And I was like, oh no, not another vision board. I don't want to do another vision board. Right? <laughs> well, the way Roseanne does it is that she puts it into sections as according to the feng shui map, right? And she teaches us exactly what you're talking about, Elias, about how to use your vision board. So the visuals are up there, but then what do you do with it? So every single morning, as Ro calls it, the success habits, right? I'm up there just like your manifestation exercises that you do, Elias. It's every single day and you're seeing and you're feeling into it. So it's not just to have that board up there. It's sitting with it and feeling into it and believing and knowing that story that you told about Gina is fabulous. Yes. That I did the same thing when I was looking to, to manifest a husband. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And I, but I would talk, I would, I took it a step farther and I actually talked to him mm, yeah. and I had my vision board. And I'd look at my vision board and I would say, hi, are you ready to come together? Get yourself. I could see the two of us clearing the path to get ourselves ready to be together. All of that. All of that. Exactly what I do. Good. Good. Oh, look who's here. Diane, Ray, De Pasquale. So good to see you. Mwah. Lots of love and hugs going your way. It's very funny because I was going to reach out to you guys because I have an idea. Okay. <laughs> and there she is. Diane shows up. I love it. <laughs> Talk about manifesting. All right. Any other questions before Elias and I call it an afternoon here? Does he have a brother? Inquiring minds want to know. Lori, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Okay. So um, just remember to love yourself. Be kind to yourself. Speak loving thoughts to yourself. When you catch yourself in spiraling down into that negative space, what do you do, Elias? You love yourself even more. You love yourself even more. And and you recognize you recognize yourself. We're gonna have bad days, everybody. We're gonna have them. We're gonna have them. And here's the interesting piece. You know, we were talking the other day. Um, on a live and well, I always feel like mistakes happen. Why do you think they happen? I could have said my marriage was a mistake, but if I didn't marry my ex, I would have never had written my book. I would have never moved out of Chicago, which gave me the courage, the courage to move here, which I would have never signed up for the celebrate your life speaker program. Then being in Sedona, being a speaker, presenting in front of people gave me the courage to be doing more of this, more workshops, more of my work to then say, huh, okay, this divorce, I can do this. I think I can do this. And then go, you know what? What made me feel really good? Oh, where I was with CYL. I'm just going to stay there for a week. And I sat in that Adirondack chair and I said, you know what? How can I change the F you into a thank you? Oh my God. What else is possible? You know, what else is possible? I'm like, how can I, you know, see, flip the switch and see the gift? I'm like, oh my God, that's a book. That's a book title. I just realized I you. I called you, Liz. And yes. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> okay, so I just, 
I, I just realized why you, you said that Celebrate Your Life changed your life. I just got it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm going to cry. That is the funniest thing. I just got it. I Okay, so here's the story. So Elias came to the Celebrate. I'm going to cry. I need a tissue. My contacts are going to go floating out of my head. Yes, I wear glasses and contacts. So Elias, Elias, okay. So Elias participated in a speaker's program that I was teaching. And Elias was the recipient of that program. He was like the speaker winner of it. And, and as a result, he became um, a speaker. He, got, he, got, he won a speaking slot at the Celebrate Your Life Sedona retreat. But it was a requirement of anybody who was in that program had to have come to a Celebrate Your Life event. Well, Elias had never been. So Elias, before he was actually going to speak at this event, he came to the Celebrate Your Life event that we were doing in Washington, Skamania. It's the name of, of the lodge. And so I, I can't even believe that. <laughs> So Elias has been saying to me, you've celebrated your life, changed my life, celebrate your life, changed my life. I'm like, oh yes, it's changed your life. It's changed so many people's lives, right? But now it just sunk in because as a result, and you said this to me before, but I don't know why I just was like, oh, okay. <laughs> as a result of that event and coming from Illinois to Washington, Elias fell in love with this area of the country, went back to Chicago, packed his bags and decided, that's it, I am moving here. And he moved about 30 minutes from Skamania and he then decided to open himself up to love and he met his fiance. And we're getting married at Skamania, Liz. We're getting married at Skamania. I know. Of that woman because of that woman and everything that she you has, know, everything you, that she did does. It. But you did it, but you did it. But, but here's the point is you took a, you took a chance. You absolutely took a chance. And, and that's, there are so many stories about celebrate your life and what's happened there. And I want you all to know this, that, that I share all these things about celebrate your life. And I say, come, 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 come. It's not, Yes, in the physical world, I run the business, but it's not mine. It doesn't belong to me. This this company, this energy called Celebrate Your Life belongs to God. It belongs to the universe because that's how it was started. And I won't go into the whole story about how we started, but let's just put it this way. I was not supposed to be doing this and running my own business. I was supposed to be an actress on stage somewhere really famous doing that. Okay, so I got that out of my system. <laughs> I didn't. But the universe and God had had other plans for me and closed one door. And I cried horribly when my acting career was like not going anywhere. And then all of a sudden this fell into my lap and my mom and I started this. So when I say it was, it's really the universe is a really, it's God's. I do mean that. And so when you step into the place, you will feel that energy. When you step into the space of celebrate your life, when you step into that bubble, you feel it. And transformation does happen. It, it transformation happens so much at these programs. Um, yeah. So come join us, go to the website, celebrateyourlife.com. Do wait, not wait another year. Do not wait another year. Liz. Yes. One of my other clients is coming. Mariana Green is coming. I cannot wait. It's going to be my first CYL. So excited. I'm so excited for you. That's amazing. Oh my God. I'm so, I can't wait to personally hug you. I am so, oh. so gosh darn excited. Mariana, that's wonderful. I'm thrilled. And she's exited. So excited. Oh, she exited. No, exited. Excited. She oh, just exited. So, and she exited. Got it. I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> excited. I'm sure she been excited. <laughs> That's wonderful. That's wonderful. But that is that is the beauty of what happens. I, I can't believe I finally, I, I kind of finally just got that, Elias. <laughs> and Bill, thank you. Thank you, my friend. That was a very yeah. kind thing to say. Yes. Oh, Bill, Bill, Bill. Where's Bill? Oh, Bill. 
Ah, all right. Michelle, this might be the thing to unstick you. She said she's stuck. She's at 61. I get that feeling. I absolutely understand that. Absolutely understand that. You got to step out of your out of your little box and do something different, fiercely different. And someone said, can they contact me? You can contact me. You could just email Liz Dawn at celebrateyourlife.com if you want to email me. It actually doesn't come to me directly. It goes to somebody else's email. It goes to our customer service, Diane, but they she'll send it to me. So just send it, Liz Dawn, D-A-W-N, at celebrateyourlife.com. Okay. All right. Everybody's still hanging out with us. It's been over an hour. Yeah. It's kind of cool. It is very cool, isn't it? I know. I love this. I love this. If you like this energy, just, just wait. Where, where do you find the prices? Um, scroll down the page. They should be there towards the bottom of the page. And the prices are going up. So I'm going to extend the discount. It says it's ending tomorrow. I'll, I'll probably extend that another, another week. So don't get freaked out that you have to book it now, but you really do want to book it now. The hotel does get filled up pretty quickly. The, um, the resort. Come on, Lottery, and I'll join you too. Okay, Sam. All right, Sam, we're going to make this happen for you. And, to, and if anybody here wants to sponsor someone, yes, I've had people do that, that they come to the event and they want to sponsor somebody else. If anybody wants to do that, let, let me know, because we certainly have people that would love Sam right now wants to come. So if there's anybody that can assist and guide, yeah. You hang up first. No, you hang up first. No, you hang up first. No, you go first, Bill. <laughs> I love Bill. <laughs> Do we book a room separate from the conference? Yes, yes. So here's what happens. Here, here, are the, here are the five steps to being at a Celebrate Your Life. You ready? The five steps. I should put this on the website. Yes. The five steps. Register for the event. Book your registrations, and while you're doing that, you're going to choose your workshops. So that's number one. Number two, if you have to travel to be with us, book your flight. Really easy. Then you're going to get a confirmation email from us with the special discounted link to book your hotel reservations. <laughs> so hotel reservations, that's number three. Okay. Okay, what was number four? Number four, if you need to um, get to the hotel, don't rent a car. Call Super Shuttle. Super Shuttle! As we have that in Arizona. It's these shuttles that take you all over the place. So, Super Shuttle. Number five, show up with an open heart, ready to be hugged if you like being hugged and ready to be just welcomed with open arms, open heart, in just a joy-filled way. Yeah. Liz is doing the ha-ha-has. What am You're, I doing? Do you know the ha-has? I don't know the ha-has. Ready? So just repeat after me. Ready? Ha. Ha. Oh, wait a second, though. I have to I have to say one more thing. Hold oh, on. Sure. Where's it? Bill. Bill is coming. Bill, I'm so excited. Where's Bill? I will be there. We all know and love it. Okay, the haha, -ha, ready. I'm so ready. we just, as I put up my fingers, so one, ha ha, two, ha ha, ha. three, ha ha ha. Ready? So here you go. Ready? Ha. Ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Do it with me. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. It's something I did as a grounding meditation oh where you just God. repeat ha ha over and over again. Uh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> that was your set. This is what Tanya's going to come in and do when I'm when I get my my computer falling asleep. She's going to go ha ha ha. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> like Tanya. <laughs> She's saying, yep. <laughs> oh my God, that was perfect. Thank you, Liz, for being here today. Yeah. And thank you for all that you do, truly. Are you kidding? Thank you. Thank you for showing up. You know, Elias says, that celebrate your life changed his life. He changed his life. He changed his life. We were just the messenger to remind him of who he is. We were just the messenger for him to step into the truth of who he is. And I got to tell you, I've never seen anybody just show up so magnificently in the community for people teaching the way you have. You are just profoundly amazing, my friend. Thank you so much. Yes. <gasps> I don't want to hug all of you. Okay, wait a second. Come close to your computers. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, did you guys feel us hugging all of you? All right, we're going to have a big hug when we see each other. Why do huddle hugs? So we all huddle and we hug. All right, you guys, that's it. So as, as I, I, we are here to connect. And when we connect, we educate. And when we educate, we grow. There is unity in community. From our heart, oops, from our hearts to yours. We love you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you everybody. for being here and showing up. And I cannot wait to see all of you at CYL. You got it, Rachel. You're going to be there. Yes. Oh, oh, Bill does have a good story. Okay, but we'll, we'll, Bill, we're going to have to have you on to come and tell it. Okay. <laughs> all right. Bye, everyone. Thanks, everyone.